everyone's shocked. Everyone's shocked, mate. It's just like the middle of a season. We're still in four out of four competitions. We're absolutely flying. Yes, there's been injuries and yes, there's been a few problems, but we're, we're in peak, we're in pinnacle form, you know, with the, with the players coming through now. And um, to, to, to announce this halfway through the season, we've just beat uh, Fulham there and, you know, we're going into a final. It's like, what is going on? But So it's a big shake-up. And then you think, thinking, OK, where do we go next? Maybe Alonso, you know what I mean? He's doing well with Leverkusen. Purely because he's wore the red shirt and he understands the mentality. But then you're thinking, now you need someone make maybe even more pedigree because, you know, to, 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 to come in to clop shoes with what he's built, it's a hard task, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's been eight years, nearly nine years at the club, so I tell you, it's, it, it's, everyone's scratching their heads a little bit. Um, Change the club from the ground up. I, 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 put, I put a status up on Facebook this morning, like saying he's given me some of the best nights of my life. That, that Barca game, that semi-final, you know, listen, you can talk about 2005 and some of the best nights. That Barca game was one of the best nights of my life. We were in, we were in a boozer down the road, the church, and I was looking for the Bible, mate, put it that way, because it was unbelievable. To, you know, that, that, that corner uh, and then Origi, that moment I've watched it like a thousand times, do you know what I mean? And that was all through, through Klopp's mentality, his driven style of play just attacking gung-ho. I can just replay that. That, that. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it now. So, there's so many nights like that that we've had, games that we've that we've won, that we've overcome, these uh, these tasks. It's just fantastic. It's all through his mentality. So listen, it's not as if we're walking away without these memories. But, um, mate, it's a sad day. Yeah. It's hard to put into words. Shocked. Shocked is what everyone probably thinks as well, yeah. Um, He's, he's not just a manager, he's, he's not just a manager, he's a man for the city as well. He just brings everything to the city, to the club. Yeah, shocked and devastated. Yeah, like everyone else. I mean, do you have... It's hard to just put it. He's, he's brought so much to the club. It's hard to just put into a sentence. He means everything to the club, everything to the fans, and like I say, to the city as well. I, th- I think he's one of the rare managers that not all of them are admitted, but even some Everton fans respect, respect him because what he brings to the city as well. Yeah, he's, he's just like one of us, so, yeah. But whoever takes over, what I will say is he's probably got the hardest job in football to take over from Klopp and what he brings to Liverpool, but my, my personal favourite would be, uh, it's unlikely, it's not going to happen, he's at Chelsea, but I, I'm a fan of Pochettino, but shame that happened there, I love, lo, lo, love him to have took him. I've seen like Simeone and a few other names getting thrown about, but... Alonso, Alonso obviously is a, a obvious one for what he's doing at Leverkusen. Um, yeah, I, I pro- if he had a choice now and I had to pick one, I'd go Alonso, but it's, it's hard to pick one at the minute, still can't get over like what's happened, yeah. Um, well, massively surprised, I think all the Liverpool fans are surprised. Um, yeah, it feels like a member of the family's died, if I'm being totally honest, it feels, it feels that deep, that... Yeah, just surprised more than anything. Weeks and months. Ago. No, that de- definitely not over the last few weeks. I think last season, I think the season took its toll on Jurgen. To be honest, I think you could see he was he looked tired last season. But this season, he's come back. He's looked fresh. His um, his in game play, I think his in game management has been brilliant. So the subs coming off the bench to change games. The amount of times we've come from behind to win games, he looks fresh. So that's the shock. I thought he's he, he's revamped the midfield. He's changed the whole squad bringing all the kids through I just thought he'd have a couple more years bring these kids on but yeah very shocked very shocked uh, just try it, it's going to be a t- it's going to be a tough ask whoever replaces him but um, the, 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 Gerard is the one that some people but because of his because of his stature here but it, it, Gerard isn't the man for the job Xavi Alonso is one maybe calibre manager that, like the Pep and the Arteta kind of mould but whoever comes in is going to struggle to replicate what Klopp had, so they're going to need time. Hopefully, with the squad being young, players like Trent now will be key. Slob as I. Um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a tough ask whoever comes in. I don't really want to think that far, to be honest, mate. It, it, it's, that, it's that devastating. It's whoever comes in, it's like when Ferguson left, not comparing him to Ferguson, but when Ferguson left United, whoever come in, it's going to be a poison chalice for a start. So whoever comes in, the, the fans will have to get behind them. Be patient. Let's just see what we can win this season now, if anything. Yeah, it's a massive shock, really. So we didn't expect it. I thought when the announcement came out that he, um, 
that there was a message from Klopp. I thought he was getting a contract extension. I thought he was going to stay a bit longer. So, so the, uh, it is definitely a shock to the system. For now, but he's that he's getting off. Yeah, I, I, I've always said this. Said um, I think Klopp is our version of Shankly and Paisley. Obviously, you speak to your dads, your granddads. It's it's them two. There'll never be a better Liverpool manager, but this fella will run them close in ten years' time. When you're trying to compare them, so all the things that he's won, he's won everything possible apart from the UEFA Cup, which hopefully that he wins in May this year. I don't really believe it to be honest with you. It's just like I don't know. Like when I first got told, I was like, no. but then I watched the video, and uh, I don't know. I just I don't I don't believe that it's happened, and it's going to take a while I think to actually realise that. I don't know, like even little things like uh, I read before that we'll never have a Champions League night at Anfield with Klopp ever again. And I just think that's it's just a bit sad, like how far we've come. I've watched that video about 10 times now, and every time that he says it, I'm going to leave him that. He just, it's like that, straight to life. It's that feeling, isn't it? It's mad. No, because he is that figure. It's, it's like a fatherly figure, like over the club. It's, it's crazy when you think about it. Yeah, it's mad. I'm off with it. Just now, just like crying, that, innit? Everyone on the stage and that, do you know what I mean? It's just mental when you think about it. It's just like, it's something that... It's so unexpected because of the circumstances around us as a club right now. Like, last season, of course, where we were, and he was... Around this time, I saw the other day, like, he was doing that um, apology and that. And today, it's almost another apology, but for, like, a completely different, like scenario as a whole, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy to think about. It's, yeah, it's unbelievable to think about. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good, mate, you know. Uh, it'll always be like, you know, where were you when the news dropped? Um, hard to say, really, isn't it? You don't really know what's going through his head. Obviously, it's devastating for all those fans, but you just got to be happy that it, that it happened, really. And obviously, we're still in uh, all four comps, so it's a chance of winning some silverware, isn't it? But... Yeah, it's horrible, like really. Um, it's been one of the best managers we've ever had. Especially the best I've ever seen in my lifetime. So Yeah, it's hard, mate. Difficult to see where we go from here, but hopefully, you know, the club have already got a process lined up and, you know, someone new. New ideas are going to come in and hopefully uh, take us on to the next level. But yeah, it's pretty uh, deflating stuff. Like, Oh, it's a massive shock. Yeah, I was in the car coming over on the way and um, can't believe it, to be honest. But I listened to his uh, long interview that he did and, you know, he says a few things that quite hit home about, you know, he's losing the energy and stuff like that. So maybe it's time to get someone fresh in. I reckon Alonso, you know, he's doing pretty well in the German league. So, yeah, I reckon get Alonso in. You know, he's brought the spark back to Liverpool Football Club. So, yeah, gutted, but, you know, these things... Good things come to an end, don't they? I'd be sorry to see him go. He's brought everything back to Liverpool. I really would. Yeah. I even went in 77 to see the first European Cup final, yeah. <laughs> Please don't go. Please stay. Yeah. But, it's a lot of stress on them yeah. these days, isn't it? Yeah. Well... I seen the interview on the telly about him and that, and you know he never said it like, but it looks as that that job's going to do some serious help to his health by the look of it. And um, we've had ten years and enough out of the fella. He's brought loads of success, but you got to remember that Liverpool FC is Liverpool FC. He's just a guardian, as the owners are. The club will always be there, and you got to remember that you support the club, not the individuals. Well, you know, I'd like to see... There's all talk about Alonso, but Alonso hasn't won anything yet. So that's, a, that's you know, there's rumours about Tiarraz. Don't know if it works, things like that, coming back to the club that he's played for. So we just have to see what happens. But I thought Pep might get it, but it um, looks like Pep's going somewhere else. That's what they're all saying, isn't it? No, so whatever happens, isn't it? He's a great man. Sad to see him go. He's, uh, he's led us through and supported us and he's got us in great places. No clue. No clue at this point. Guess we'll find out though. I think it's a, it's a disaster really. Um, but I think what's even better is Steven Gerrard's lined up for the job and he'd be a great addition to Liverpool. And I think, you know, he's the manager that Liverpool should have. But he's done great at the Glasgow Rangers. And look where Villa are now. They're in the European playoff places, aren't they? For the Champions League. 
So, you know, he, he's got a pedigree about him. He's the man. Absolutely gutted. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that. Honestly. She's upset. She can't talk. Absolutely gutted, honestly. What a, he's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look where he's got us. Absolutely amazing, isn't he? I think it's ill health. I think it's something with his health. Alonso. Just Alonso. Don't know, I can't answer that. <laughs> he's, he is, he's good, he's boss. Yeah. And he's he's top of the league now in Germany, isn't he? With Germany, so, yeah. Well, I thought she was uh, joking with me because this morning we were discussing when he will be leaving, so it was a big shock. Hopefully, we'll get Chubby Alonso in, so <laughs> there's a bit of continuity because I was hoping that he will come after a club, but I didn't expect it to be that soon. Well, it's tough, but uh, it feels like a, a bit like when Ferguson was leaving Man United. It was, it's that big, in my opinion. So, but we'll see. We'll enjoy the last few months with club for the past. There's a, we're selling four competitions. There are four months left. Then we'll see after that. But let's enjoy the last four months together. And then we'll worry about leaving him leaving in, in the summer then. Devastated. Can't believe it. Out of the blue, came out of nowhere, like, we didn't expect it. Yeah, we don't know what to, what to think of it, do we? No, but I don't know, it actually came out of nowhere, like, no one's really expecting it. Uh, he's going to be a big loss for the club, like, probably can't the best be manager we've ever had, him or Bill Shankly, anyways. Yeah, so. He can't be replaced, it's going to be so hard to replace him. Shabby no. Alonso, he does a lot of rumours around him, so I'd say we'll go after him anyways, see if he wants to come back, like, see where it goes from there, I'd say, but... Come over all the way from Wexford to watch this match, and we just can't believe the news that Klopp is leaving. It's devastating. We just, just can't believe it. I'm so sad about it, to be honest. Like he's one of the best managers we've ever had. Like him or Bill Shankly, definitely. He'll be a big loss, very big loss. Um, he's brought great players, and just gonna miss him a lot in Liverpool. He's been a great manager for the club. The energy he brings in Alto, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really sad about it. We've had two and a half years longer than, 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 than anywhere else he's been, so. Oh, yeah, devastated. Well, just, just carry on. Be, be the, last, the last games at home, isn't it? That, uh, and I think that I'll, that it'll sink in then with people, won't it? Mm-hmm. Alonso. We heard that about six weeks ago, to be honest with you. He was next in line, so... Yeah. But... The team's always bigger than one person. No, devastated. I can't understand why he's leaving. Is he sick? He must be. <laughs> oh, it's who's going to take his place? No one can. Can't replace Klopp, can you? Irreplaceable. Um, he should stay. And um, you shouldn't quit, and you should stay. Because he's really good, and he makes the team a bit better.